Why am I doing a video on building a sink for a concession stand? Okay, it's not the normal plumbing job that I do, but I'm doing this for a friend of mine, and I thought it'd be a nice little challenge to to take on. I'm up for a challenge, and I hope you're up with the challenge with me. So, with that in mind, oh yeah, there is one mistake that I made in this video. Let me see if you can catch it. If you know what it is, put it down in the description and let me know what this mistake was that I made. I'm Claude Taylor and this is your How To Plumbing Channel. Welcome back to all my friends and subscribers. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to find out more videos that are coming out soon, hit that notification bell. Thank you. First of all, this was not the original sink that was supposed to be installed here. The friend of mine ordered a uh, concession, stand, uh, concession sink that was kind of pre-built. But uh, once uh, I looked at the pre-built uh, concession sink, yeah. So I used some of the parts from the uh, that box and I just went on ahead and made my own little concession sink which I think turned out uh, much better because it's all stainless steel the other one that they had was kind of um, had corrugated uh, wood stuff like that it just uh, didn't appeal to me so I thought I could do something better and I think I did Uh, before I got started on here, you can see all the marks that I put on the table to uh, line out where I need to cut. And I did as much as I could with this uh, grinder. And then I also used the uh, reciprocating saw. And I am not a metal worker, I'm a plumber, so bear with me on the holes that I cut out here. And by the way, this is going to be like a part one to this video. Uh, there's more to it. Um, the only thing that I'm doing now is making the cuts and setting the valves in place to cut off out the uh, faucets and the sinks in place and later I will start actually connecting it to the uh, concession mobile itself where I will eventually run the water and waste and possibly the hot water heater for this This is a actually a pretty good grinder. Uh, it's just not really strong enough for this stainless steel table that I'm working on. So what I'm doing with the grinder is I'm actually just getting the hole started so that I can uh, take my reciprocating saw and get it down there and cut the rest of it out.
Okay, now you can see that I have the three sinks, the main sinks in place, and the hand sink at the other end. This is a requirement that they, from what I'm understanding, that they uh, ask for on concession vehicles is that they have a three compartment sink and one hand sink to wash your hands. And these are my marks for my uh, faucet that's going to go in here. And it's 8 inch from center of the circle to center of the circle, which most faucets are 8 inch spread. And this is uh, going to be two handle uh, sink faucet. And if you're, I don't know if you notice or you're looking at the white film that's on top of the uh, stainless steel, that's just a protective cover to keep from scratching up the uh, stainless steel is uh, more than I'm already scratching it up. And by the way, this is the faucet that came to, with the kit that I was telling you about. It's a plastic faucet. Yeah, it's probably not the best faucet. Um, maybe in the future we'll change it out, but we're going to go with what they have right now. And now this is going to be the other faucet, which is 4 inch spread from center to center. And this is going to be for the hand sink. And actually between the hand sink and the three compartment sink, 
there's going to be a partition and that's what separates the, uh, the sinks from one another And here's the plumber putty, plumber's putty that I use, and now we're going to install the drains. Uh, the drains on here are not like your average kitchen drain. Well, let me take that back. It's it's your kitchen drain, but these drains are a lot smaller than the uh, kitchen drains. These are going to be inch and a quarter kitchen drains, and they're actually designed for bar sinks, which basically these are just small bar sinks. And the uh, drains that came with this was some kind of flop around flexible tubing stuff uh, and that's another change that I'm gonna make uh, is going, going to uh, go ahead with the, some PVC piping rather than that uh, rubbery stuff that they had and it should be a lot more firm And I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, 
slip nut washer on now so that we don't lose it. And what I'm doing here is I'm using 100% silicone caulk and this is the clear caulk and this will help keep the uh, sink in place so that it don't move around as well as uh, seal it tight so that water don't get up underneath the uh, sink itself. And once I've done this and set it in place I've actually took some weights and set them in the sink so that the weight will hold it down nice and flush <coughs> until until it was able to dry and once it dried uh, take the uh, a utility knife and cut the excess caulking that's sticking out from the uh, side of it I'm Claude Taylor. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you. Yeah,